there ladies and gentlemen my name is Alex welcome to our channel here at EOS marketplace news now I just want to say hi to all our viewers and subscribers out there hello I hope that you're having a great day today good morning okay so guys thank you so much for always watching our videos and for subscribing now for today's videos since it is um, holiday season I will be giving you a lot okay so it's a present <laughs> no first up I will be giving you a news that will open our minds okay um, this news is brought to us by PCN it will tell us um, it will st it will tell us the difference between custodial and non custodial cryptocurrency okay so I know that you are eager to know what are the difference of both okay Next up, I will be um, touring you around or I will be sharing to you a glimpse of our newsletter that we share to our subscribers, okay? And lastly, I will be giving you um, the tokens and coins that has the best news, the best status as of November 30, 2018, okay? So I know that you are excited and I am as well, so let's start. Here, again guys, this news is brought to us by PCN or Preferred Currency News. The difference between custodial and non-custodial cryptocurrency services. Alright, here. Since the Bitcoin Cash fork occurred recently, it's a good time to discuss the difference between custodial and non-custodial cryptocurrency services. Newcomers to the digital asset economy often get confused when they hear about a blockchain split and may wonder how they should handle the outcome. Individuals should note that the best solution depends greatly on how they prefer to store their cryptocurrencies in a custodial or a non-custodial wallet. Okay, <clears throat> third party and sovereign control over private keys. So if you have joined the cryptocurrency space, you might find some parts of ecosystem confusing. One of the most important lessons to learn is the best way to keep your assets safe and secure because no one likes to lose money. In the early days, around eight years ago, there were very few service providers offering wallets and exchanges. But now, there are hundreds of wallets and exchanges offering a storage solution of for cryptocurrencies. What some digital currency newcomers may not understand is that there are is a big difference between custodial and non-custodial services. So the recent Bitcoin Cash fork is a good example of why people should understand the differences between both systems. All right, here. As you can see on the picture, guys, custodial wallet and non-custodial wallet. Okay, custodial wallets are third parties such as exchanges and brokerage services. These services have control over your coins. Non-custodial wallet um, gives users 100% control by providing owners with the private keys. <coughs> okay, next. <clears throat> custodial wallet services. Custodial cryptocurrency services include in most exchanges, brokerage services, and platforms that allow you to buy, sell, and store digital assets. A custodial business is basically a third party that offers to protect your assets within their system. People who store digital assets with a third party need to understand that they are not 100% in control of their cryptocurrencies. Coinbase is a great example of an exchange and brokerage service that also allows people to store digital assets within their wallet system. When you download the Coinbase application that allows purchases and sales, you'll note that it is described as the world's most popular cryptocurrency wallet. Therefore, it's safe to assume some users may think that application is non-custodial wallet but that isn't the case. For example, 
With the last hard fork, Coinbase and multitude of other third-party services pause customers from sending and receiving BCH to their wallets. Non-custodial wallets were 100% operational before, during, and after the hard fork because these kinds of wallets are not controlled by a third party. In another instance, Coinbase explained to their customers that BCH wallets had been recently enabled and that in the future they will disperse BSV funds. In essence, this means that if you stored BCH on Coinbase before the fork, you must wait for them to allow you access to the BSV tokens that were once tethered to your BCH. Okay. <clears throat> so the third-party services that have re-enabled BCH transactions have split the coin stored there already, enabling you to transact once again with BCH without worrying about a replay attack or sending two types of coins. However, guys, one of the most important slogans within the cryptocurrency community is, if you don't possess your private keys, you don't own Bitcoin, <laughs> right? And this is true for any cryptocurrency held on an exchange or custodial wallet as that third-party service is in control of your coins to a large degree. Examples of custodial services include Kraken, Coinex, Bitstamp, Pol Polonex, Bitrex, Bitfinex, Binance, and the myriad of other trading and brokerage service platforms that also offer storage. <clears throat> Next, non-custodial wallet services that give the user 100% control. So guys, this is non-custodial. Non-custodial wallet services are platforms that allow users to possess their private keys. The application will either give a file or have you write down a mnemonic phrase that can consist of 12 to 24 random words, a platform that provides users with the ability to store a cryptocurrency's private keys gives the user 100% control over the funds. If you possess your private keys, you wholly own Bitcoin or any uh, of the other 2,000 plus cryptocurrencies in existence. <clears throat> now here, um, let's take a look at the picture. Please save these 12 words on paper. Order is important. This seed will allow you to recover your wallet in case of computer failure. Warning, never disclose your seed, never type it on a website, and do not store it electronically. All right, for your safety, guys. All right, security. Next, understanding private keys is important to financial sovereignty. So, so moving back to the BCH hard fork example, if you help pre-fork Bitcoin Cash in a non-custodial wallet, this will have allowed you to have complete ownership over your BCH and BSV. Non-custodial wallets include the Bitcoin.com client, BRD, Blockchain, BTC.com, Electron Cash, Copy, Jax, Coinomi, Edge, and many more because these platforms give users the ability to store their own private keys. All right. Now, individuals using these types of user controlled wallets have the ability to split their BCH and BSV right after the split happened. Because individuals store their funds in a wallet, they have sovereign control over. They are 100% responsible for the safety and security of the keys. Non custodial wallet owners also need to split their BCH on their own unless the wallet software offers a native splitting solution within the client. This means <clears throat> excuse me, that if a user sends some BCH without splitting their BSV first in a non-custodial wallet, they face losing the BSV after sending the transaction. Having full ownership of your cryptocurrency private keys by means of a non-custodial wallet means you are accountable for every action, including splitting coins. So research and 
just a recommendation research and get to know the storage solution you choose there are lots of applications and platforms that offer cryptocurrency storage in wallets but guys you need to be careful which one you choose okay so <clears throat> even here in the real world not just in the digital world right um there are always pros and cons okay so again um it is very very important that you must understand the difference between custodial custodial it means there is a third party control and non-custodial sovereign control storage solutions so the difference can be huge when it comes to exchange hacks um blockchain splits and other unknowns that take place within the cryptocurrency ecosystem so the best thing to do is research the service or application you use to store your cryptocurrency and perform due diligence find out whether or not the application you use is a custodial or non-custodial solution and decide for yourself if the service is safe and secure enough to hold your precious digital assets right it's really important to know the difference so i'm really thankful that this news occurred right so guys um did you already understand the difference between custodial and non-custodial right so let us know what you think about this subject on the comment section below all right so here guys um this is one of the most trending and popular news on the cryptocurrency world right now now i know that you want to be the first one to get notified of everything so please visit preferredcurrency.news and subscribe now and subscribing you will be the first one to get notified so <clears throat> there are two options you can use paypal for monthly recurring for only 15 dollars per month fiat or you can use the Coinbase option for $180 annual subscription to be paid with your favorite crypto. Okay, so guys, if you have uh, something that you want to tell us, some queries, questions, you can contact us directly on the website. Your name and email is required. And of course, your message and just hit send. But we know that, you know, it's very important to have questions or answers um a i mean qu answers to our questions right because we we're eager to know you can contact directly the man behind preferred currency dot news his name is donald lewis or donald the guru you can call his number at 1801-601-8105 whatsapp at 1801-471-6939 Skype ID Donald.fcda for Twitter subscribers. You can follow him at Preferred Crypto. You can join our Telegram channel. Yes, it's fun there. Um, you can join us in our Telegram channel to have chit chat with us, and of course, at the same time, you will have updates. Okay, um, that's Preferred Crypto News, and you can send a private message to Donald Lewis on Telegram. Um, at preferred crypto okay so guys next up our newsletter okay as promised promises are not made to be broken okay so guys here is the newsletter that we are sending or that we will be sending to our subscribers every day so on the newsletter of course there is uh, the articles of the day not just one so if you click this continue reading it will take you to this one pcn.today and a lot of news here are available for you okay so guys i want to <coughs> i want to say that we have um a unique feature on our newsletter that you cannot find or you cannot find anywhere else on the internet but only here at preferred currency news it's the donald's research list yes it's the donald's research list donald's research list you can just click open spreadsheet and it will take you this it will take you to this one okay so this is the donald spreadsheet all right <coughs> excuse me so this is a list of tokens and coins and their statuses right so 
guys here Donald's research list again it can't be found anywhere else on the internet it it is a list of tokens and coins and their statuses every day okay it's being updated by Donald every day that's that's an assurance okay now as promised this is the thing or this is the one that I've told you that I will be giving you um, the coins or tokens that have the best news and their status of course right so here um, the colors have meaning when you see red it means negative news orange and tan are neutral yellow are fair green have good news and blue um, are showing the best news okay so we see bitcoin there is showing the best news so let me give you the details of bitcoin so for bitcoin here bitcoins um recent price as of november 30 2018 it's four thousand two hundred ninety three point one nine zero two seven one eight nine share of total market volume it's zero point um three six four three zero four two five fifty five percent for google searches compared to the past seven days it's crossing down 50 for sma movement number of positive technical indicators for um, 24 hours volume versus price it's 1.58 7 days volume versus price it's 2.68 30 days volume versus price is 3.17 and percent issued it's 82.85 percent next up let's see we are looking for the token the name of the token or coin that is colored blue here bitmay BitPay, it's 0 0.00970371 for the recent price. Again, guys, this is November 30, 2018. Share of total market volume is 0 0.00000085. Google searches compared to the past seven days, 70%. Um, SMA movement, it's crossing down 50. Number of positive technical indicators, 4 um 24 hours volume versus price 35.89 wow seven days volume versus price is one 1.03 30 days volume versus price zero and percent issued it's 100 percent wow next next up here cardano so cardano's recent price is 0 0.04 two zero seven three two seven share of total market volume is zero point zero zero two five five zero nine one um google searches compared to the past seven days it's seventy six percent fifty candle sma movement crossing down fifty um number of positive technical indicators for 24 hours volume versus price it's 7.84 wow um, seven days volume versus price 3.15 and 30 days volume versus price 9.08 and percent issued 57.62 percent okay next up okay dash so dash recent price it's 96.8525921 total market volume it's 0 0.00925099 google searches compared to the past seven days it's 51 percent um 50 candle sma movement it's crossing down 50 number of positive technical indicators for 24 hours volume versus price six seven days weekly volume versus price it's 1.8 30 days volume versus price 0 0.46 and percent issued it's 44.82 percent next up is dav dav is one of my favorite tokens or coins um, recent price 0 0.00345031 share of total market volume 0 0.00000223 Google searches compared to the past seven days zero crossing down 50 for SMA movement number of positive technical indicators four 
Um, 24 hours volume versus price is 3.1, 7 days volume versus price 0.62, and 30 days volume versus price 0% issued 32.94%. Wow. Okay, next, let's see. Oh, yes. Yeah, so for ES recent price it's three point zero one five six seven three one five. Shared total market volume is zero point zero four six three nine 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 six. Fifty one percent for Google searches compared to the past excuse me, seven days. It's crossing down fifty for SMA movement. Number of positive technical indicators for twenty four hours volume versus price one point eleven or 1-1, one, one. 7 days volume versus price 0 0.81, and 30 days volume versus price it's 2.55 percent issued it's 90.06 percent. All right, next, next up, uh, let's see, there Nano. So Nano's recent price it's one point one one eight one six five seven six. Share of total market volume is zero point zero 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 one eight one one six. Google searches compared to the past seven days it's fifty eight percent, crossing down fifty for SMA movement. Number of positive technical indicators for twenty four hours volume versus price it's ten point ninety five. 7 days um, volume versus price 1.19 0 for 30 days volume versus price percent issued 100 percent next are you excited what's next tick 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 all right next is smart lands smart lands recent price 6.28 Share of total market volume, that's 0 0.00004054, 10 percent for Google searches compared to the past seven days. It's crossing up 50, number of positive technical indicators, 0, 24 hours, volume versus price, 0, 7 days, volume versus price, 2.99, 30 days, volume versus price, it's 1.69 and percent issued, it's 70.98%. Next, Stellar. Stellar ha <clears throat> has having also a good news, good status. Here, recent price, it's 0 0.16647393. Share of total market volume, it's 0 0.00455195. Google searches compared to the past seven days, 71%. It's crossing down 50. A number of positive technical indicators for 24 hours volume versus price zero, seven days volume versus price zero, 30 days volume versus price is 4.41 and percent issued it's 18.33 percent. Okay, next, Tron. So Tron's recent price it's 0 0.01579778218 Share of total market volume is 0 0.00987329. Google searches compared to the past seven days, 81%. Crossing down 50 for SMA movement. Number of positive technical indicators, three. Um, 24 hours volume versus price, it's 9.53. Seven days volume versus price, 4.65. And 30 days volume versus price, it's 5.96. Lastly, um, percent issued, it's 66.67%. All right, what's next? Oh, that's it. So, guys, those are the tokens or coins that have the best news. All right. So, guys, I know that <clears throat> it is really important for us to keep track on the tokens or coins so this Donald's research list is a really a big help right it will make our you know day more convenient less hassle happy just happy life because it's less hassle less less stress right you do not need to spend a lot of time in researching and going to a lot of websites for us to check um, what's the status of that specific coin or token that we want to research, 
right but guys for your information this sheet okay is not a recommendation to buy or sell any token okay we suggest or we highly recommend that you do your own research you research each token and then you decide afterwards okay you can decide afterwards with yourself now <clears throat> but i have a tip um when you subscribe already to um preferred currency news so you can have the access already to donald's research list um maybe you might consider you know prioritizing the coins prioritizing the coins or the um, tokens that is showing the best news of course right yes all right now guys that has been for today so again you can have it all here at preferredcurrency.news you can have the article of the day okay you don't need to remember it because we will be notifying you via email um it's just 15 dollars, and you will be you know you can keep track easily um you will be updated every day and uh, what else you can have the donald's research list which is for me it's the best part because it's house all right so guys again please visit preferredcurrency.news to get notified to be the first one to get notified of everything here at our cryptocurrency world right now guys thank you so much for always watching my videos and our videos so if you have suggestions questions concerns or you want to comment please comment down below especially for our news today um we know already we already know clearly what are the difference between non-custodial and custodial services right so be careful guys in your decisions so <coughs> excuse me that's it please 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 don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so this has been alex thank you so much and me saying goodbye take care